Hello, it's Molly Raymer from Bridget's Grove, and I received a question about what I mean by my little travel altar, my little portable altar, my little pocket altar that I have referenced in the past as carrying from place to place with me and setting up with the different things that I do during the course of the day. And I decided to make a little video walkthrough, so to speak, of the contents of my little portable altar bag. And I do want to emphasize that the contents change frequently based on my interests, the things that I'm kind of focusing on, etc. And so this could look very different in a couple of months, but I think just literally just opening up what I'm carrying around with me lately will help you understand what I mean when I say that I have these like a portable altar that I carry with me all the time. And uh, one of the things I also wanted to mention is the Our Little Goddesses for me also produce that portable altar type of space. And so the ones that are out here right now are currently the ones that I'm carrying around with me. And I always have one with me. Like I always have a goddess with me. I tuck one. I have a, I keep one tucked down the front of my shirt, usually a meditation goddess. And because she fits. Ta-da! And then I usually keep one in the back, my back pocket if I'm wearing jeans. That's who's been riding along with me lately. So in that way, my own body almost becomes my portable altar space. I have a tendency I like to wear um, bracelets and I have my word of the year printed on or imprinted on this so it's always with me. I have a ring that I wear with my word of the year. My, I have two words of the year this year so I have the words on it. I have my goddess rings and other rings that are significant. So my own body and I, and I wear jewelry too that's meaningful to me and that makes almost like my own body be this portable altar space that I carry from place to place but I also have certain items that I carry with me too and so lately I've been using this little bag I've in the past I've used boxes I've used other types of little bags but this little bag is a joy bag that I got from Penny Hyde who's a member of the creative spirit circle and it's a nice size for toting toting your little items in it and so as I said these goddesses are always with me in my pockets and but when I sit down, when I go from place to place, I get them out and set them up where I am, and that's my portable altar. So if I sit down on my computer, I set these up watching me kind of on my computer. And I was going to, I don't have my, I'm out in the tiny temple right now, and I don't have my computer with me, so I can't show you how I set that up. But I often set the things, if I open my laptop, I set the things on my laptop. That, uh, that drives Mark crazy because he knocks them off. But for, um, for me, I like to have those things very close by. They're very anchoring into this goddess-based spiritual practice, this sense of bringing the sacred into the everyday. Like that is present for me when I use, uh, when I have my sacred objects close by me in my everyday work. So I set them next to the computer. I bring the things out and set them down. When I eat, I set my little goddesses up around my plate. And when I go to bed, I set them up by the bed as I, before I go to bed. And I even will do that if I'm having a dinner with someone else, or even if I go to a restaurant or have a meeting somewhere, I will set my little goddesses on the table by where I am working, or if I'm holding an event or something, I set some things up next to me on the floor when I'm there. And I guess, I mean, maybe that's weird. I've never really thought that it was weird, and so, I've noticed in the past that if you don't act like something's weird, then other people don't really act like it's weird either. They treat it as something that you do. So in my little bag, and this is my current little portable altar space, I have one of my homemade little prayer books or magic books or books of wisdom. In it, I have tucked a set of stencils so I can embellish things as I wish. In the front of it, I have a set of cards that I've made, so they're with me if I need a little inspiration or reminder. And then, so one of the reasons I keep one of these with me is if I have amazing insights about something in the course of the day, then I quickly will have a place to put it down. It, I have a place to write it so that I don't lose that. A little bookmark that my daughter made for me. And anyway, so then I work, the little notes are things I don't want to forget and then I work on the pages you know at other times to make them pretty and then in the back more cards waiting to be worked with it's a full set little setup this is my devotion reminder card and then I have a pocket in the back where I keep little special things like feathers I have found a goddess template to work on some stickers that I might be going to use 
etc. So that book fits in my little bag. And then also in it, I have pens. So I always have pens with me, including a special fancy gold one. And then I also have story goddesses. So they're always there in case I want to take a picture or set one up near me. And then also I have, ta-da, I have a tiny little wooden mushroom that I just got as a gift from Carmen, who's also a member of the Creative Spirit Circle. I like the little earth representation, plus mushroom hunting brings me great joy and pleasure, and it's a fun thing that I do with my husband. And uh, so having it in here is a reminder of that little bit of everyday magic. And then in here, I also have several mini goddesses, so I can set those up with cards, or these I often lay on the bottom of my computer, like right by my hand, like on the very edge of the computer, I'll set up those little goddesses on the computer. Oh, I have a little amethyst heart. That re amethyst is one of my favorite stones, and then that reminds me to bring love into what I'm doing, and that my work that I'm expressing is my love letter to the world, so I have my little heart there. I have a rainbow moonstone tower that I can set up, another little goddess, and then I have a set, another little bag where I have my prayer, or, oops, more little goddesses in there. Gotta have lots of little goddesses everywhere. Gotta have your crew. And uh, in my little bag, I have my prayer beads that Alyssa Walsh from the Creative Spirit Circle, she has a shop called Downward and Northward, and she made those for me. They were a gift from a secret sponsor in the Creative Spirit Circle, so I don't actually know who commissioned her to make them for me. They were a surprise that really came at a time when I really needed them, so they are extra special to me, and I have to keep those in my portable altar bag as well. And when I have those, so then I will, I'll either put that around my neck or around my wrist, and when I go for a walk, I will sing, or I will uh, pray, or I will come up with poems and things like that, and I often have the beads out with me while I'm doing that. And then I have a little, again, with the mushroom, I have a little mushroom glass that reminds me of happiness with mushroom finding. More tiny goddesses, and let's see what else I have. Also in there, I have a little pomegranate in honor of Persephone, since that's the goddess with which I work most closely over the last and so I have the pomegranate as kind of a symbol of dedication to her and like a connection with her. I have a little glass bottle that I got that's also for me kind of a symbol of offering connection, um, you know, divine replenishment, etc. And so that was pretty and I carry that around. And then I have a little shell from our trip, from trips. Shells are really important to me too. And this one is not a particularly beautiful shell, but it has like this great, great soft, buttery kind of aged finish that makes it amazing to hold onto and hold. And so I like having kind of the representations of different elements with me too. So I have my goddess representation, I have my prayer representation, but I have my earth element, I have my water element, I have my, or well, my this is my water element, sorry, uh, my air element because the little bottle can hold um, anything. And <clears throat> And then my goddesses right now are kind of my fire element. They're really, they're fiery and ready. And so I like to have those things. And then basically that's my little travel kit. That's my little portable altar space. And it's small and can go with me anywhere that I am. And depending on what I need, like I don't get everything out all the time, but let's say I'm going to make an audio recording for our patrons on Patreon or something. I will have my little Moonstone Tower and I'll set that out next to where I am as um, like kind of energetic support for the space that I'm holding for that group. And then I can easily get my beads out and I can hold those in my hands while I'm talking as this tactile kind of connection. And then I have my pomegranate in that. When I see that, that reminds me of Persephone, Persephone and that's that kind of moment to reach out and connect with her and to remind myself of the rela that relationship. And, but then because these things are created for me by people that I value and people that are part of our community, it also reminds me of that connection to the larger circle, to the other people, to you know the love and the community and the companionship that we share with one another. So they're, they're not just representations of 
you know, sacred concepts, they're also representations of, of people that I interact with and that I value in my life. And so that brings a sensation of like wholeness or community to me as well. And then, as I already explained, the goddesses for me, they represent very much a little, an actual tactile connection with divinity and really become kind of a conduit of the holy. So when I have the, the goddess in my hand, it's a tactile way of reaching out and touching divine presence, touching the sacred, uh, forming this conduit of the holy, even though what I'm doing is possibly typing or possibly eating dinner or getting ready for bed or writing in my journal or getting orders ready or whatever it is, having these things close by and in my hands and readily available to me is what infuses each day with that sense of the sacred and with divine connection and with relationship and with goddess-centered living becomes like woven through or part of every day instead of something I'm saving for a special occasion or something I'm saving for the right time or something I'm trying to set up as a special ritual on a special occasion. Instead, it's literally part of every day. And so right now, that's what I have. In another week or so, I might have different things, but something that's always in common is that I always have the goddesses with me and, uh, and they're always in my pocket <laughs> or on the table or next to me, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. I even put one in the shower with me when I take a shower. And uh, so that's uh, one of those ways that I weave, weave the holy, weave the sacred, weave the magic into the everyday moments. So thanks for being here and for listening.